Hey YouTube, long time no religion video. I had a couple of other things to attend to, but I'm back. There's always been an extremely strange paradox I've noticed with the major religions, especially pertaining to Christians, because I am, as you know, the most familiar with Christians, because, well, my whole family is basically Christian. And this has always been t hugging at the corners of my mind, and I never got around to making a video about it until now. One thing Christians, especially extremely fundamentalist ones, would claim is that Christians value life. They value the human life so much. They want you to respect God's creation and something like that. And I really don't see that with A, what they believe in, and B, how they act. And this is why the Bible contains murder, the Bible contains genocide, and infanticide, and filicide. Oh, and let's not forget a whole bunch of misendemers. Now some of you might say, well, you're taking all that out of context. Well, then please explain to me exactly what context should I be placing the Bible in? What context? would make bigotry, murder, rape, and other crimes perfectly acceptable. But I'm actually willing to put all of that aside and only judge how Christians act today and what they believe in today, even ignoring the Bible, which is supposedly the quintessential um, dogmatic principle in Christianity, but whatever. I will ignore that for now. You Christians claim to be peaceful, and yet wars have been started in history over and over again, and blood does not wash off easily. You claim to value human life, and yet you would turn your back on hundreds and thousands of people every day and let them suffer for the rest of eternity just because they were deemed evil. You Christians claim to value human life, and yet I see nothing of the sort. For example, I will never understand why you oppose abortion. What if it was an abortion to save people's lives? For example, there was a case where a young girl got raped by her stepfather and she had to get a life-saving abortion to save her own life, and yet the Catholic Church opposed that. I'll try and find the article and link it below. But anyways, so you're saying that you would tell a rape victim to live with their child, the child of the man that raped them, so that they will be constantly reminded of that horrible incident. I mean, I don't understand why you would um, encourage that. That's inhumane. And ironically enough, the child would suffer as much, if not worse, than its mother. Because, essentially, all you're doing when you're opposing abortion is encouraging a baby to be produced in this world. The world that never would have normally cared for the baby and doesn't care for the baby in the first place. So, all you're doing is essentially prolonging the suffering of the mother and the suffering of the child. And yet, you claim to value human life. Thanks for watching, and may the truth always be heard. Bye.